So here you can see that I already have a table to open up in Adobe InCopy. Now let's see how we can work with some text options and stroke and fill in cell options inside of Adobe InCopy. So to do that, I'm going to go to table right here and then you can see that there's cell options. So here you can select the text, graphics, strokes and fills, just like that. So once you go to text, what happens is that it opens up the text tab and you can access the graphics and the stroke tab from right over here. Then what you can do is you can go on to table and then once you go on to cell option, if you were to go to stroke and feel, uh, the same cell option actually appears out. So just like this, you got the graphics and text just like this. So now let's say, for example, I want to change the layout of this Xbox cell right here. So I'm just going to click and leave my cursor right over there. Then I'm going to go on to table and then I'm going to go to cell option. Let us go to text. So what we can do is we can change out. So let me just turn on the previews to see how this happens. So if I were to increase this out, you can see that you can arrange out the spacing right over here. You can work around with the arrows right here or you can work around and input a number. Let's say, for example, if you were to do 0 0.1, press enter and you can see that there's a bit of a spacing right over here. Let's let us go to table once again and go to cell option and then go to text. So over here, what we can do is we can link out the top and bottom just like this. So we can just work around with the bottom, the top and so forth. We can also work around with the left and right just like this. So if you have a lot of uh, content right here, then the right will seem as well. There's alignment option right here. You can align it to the center, bottom or whatever. So there's this one line. So you don't see much of an effect right there. So you can just change this out onto, let's say, for example, top, bottom and so forth and change it out just like that. So there's different uh, things like there's cap height, you can select it out, you can have leading, let's say for example, you can change this out, change the leading out right here, ascent, a cap height, and there's X height and so forth. If you, so if you were to change that out, there's like an offset that you can work around with, uh, with as well. You can also go, go around clipping and rotate the text around as well. So if I were to just drag this around, you can see that the text has been rotated just like this. So it gives you a lot of layout options. So similarly, if you were to go over here onto text, there are a lot of options right there. Once you go to graphics, you can work around with the cell insets as well and other options right here. Then this is what my, uh, what, uh, what is interesting. There's cell stroke and fill options as well. So you can increase this out and as you increase this, you can see that the cell which is selected. So for the top one, uh, like if you were to go over here onto item cell and select it, it'll show up. But over here, the cell is selected and you can see that you can change the weight. So once you change the weight, you can also change around other options. So you can go over here and let's say, for example, only work around with that cell. So if you were, were to click this, what happens is that only the other cells are affected. You can click this again and that cell gets affected. So you can choose out individual cells just like this and make sure only they get affected. So you can choose this out. All of them are affected. But if you do deselect this, change this out, only that cell is affected. So let me just keep that on on to all of the cells just like this. Then there's the type. So you can go around, have more like a wavy effect. So this gives a lot of design freedom, as you can see. You can go for a dash type of a line right here can go on triple type for line so you can select different type of designs right here you can also change up the color on to the one which is available so if you have your own color swatch you'll be able to select that out as well so here you can see that there's a bit of a gap so now if you were to go on to gap what happens is that if you were to choose it the inner color is filled up just like this so if you were to select something like let's say for example this you can see that the gaps are filled up with yellow you can also over print the gap right here, over print the stroke. So there are some options as well. There's also self field options. So you can choose individual colors like this and it can change out the tint as well. So let's say, for example, you can do something like 50% right over here. And what happens is that it only has 50% of the tint. Then it can also overflow uh, right over here. So these are options as well. And that is how you can work around with the text options and stroke and fill options inside of Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.